Afghanistan may not be everyone's choice to pursue a career, but two South African coaches, Andy Moles and Ryan Marin, are the exception to that rule. In fact, in 2015, they were among the unsung heroes of the Afghanistan cricket team. A nation in a state of turmoil. I think when you're born a woman in Afghanistan, you're taught every day to hate yourself. We don't know how to respect women. Neither men nor women. No one knows it. Women don't respect themselves. Afghanistan certainly doesn't have a good story to tell. And when traveling to this war-torn country, one has to be aware of the many security risks. Security issues are obviously quite quite tense. Um, you know, there is it is a war zone, and there's suicide bombers. Uh, nearly every day, there's an issue. So, you know, my, one of my brothers is, is involved in anti-terrorism police work, um, and he he sort of uh, was questioning whether I should be going. But you know, we've we've sat down, we've discussed it, and he's given me some ideas and things to look out for. And I've just got to uh, be sensible while I'm there and make sure I plan my days in such that <clears throat> I take as much uh, risk out of the day as possible. However, England-born Andy Mills took up the challenge to coach the cricketing minnows. 54-year-old Mills is also a journeyman of sorts. <laughs> Having had coaching stints with the Kenyan, Scottish and New Zealand national teams. His is a story of a passionate coach who had a dream of changing the lives of young men living in Afghanistan. I saw, you know, there's a, there's a definite opportunity to, to help um, a lot of uh, young men who are in a very difficult part of the world in a war zone. And through cricket, you know, it gave them the opportunity to travel the world and, and help them grow as individuals. Here's Malinga. The Afghanistan cricket team suffered heavy defeats in the five matches in Pool A at the ICC Cricket World Cup down under. But the experience of featuring at the tournament against the likes of Australia, New Zealand and Sri Lanka is one they will forever cherish. Shapur is the hero for Afghanistan. Their fielding coach Ryan Madden also has fond memories of the famous one-wicket triumph over the Scots. Everybody is very pleased. The president phoned the guys and spoke to them over the over the loudspeaker in the in the bus. So the boys were were very very happy, and they know what it does for their country. And um, Afghanistan, in, uh, cricket in Afghanistan is very popular and it's growing all the time. Andy Moles and Ryan Madden both live in Cape Town. The two coaches could possibly be reunited with Afghanistan cricket team soon. Moles has been offered a new three-year deal, which, if he accepts, may bring more happiness to the people of the troubled nation. When Afghanistan recorded their first World Cup win against Scotland, it not only brought a sense of joy to a country ravaged by war, but it was also described by many as one of the greatest sporting success stories. It's for this reason that coaches Andy Mills and Ryan Madden are now hoping to see fewer guns and more cricket bats on the streets of Afghanistan. Ronald Masinda, Cape Town.